hi hello welcome to my channel i am heather the confetti stitcher and it is the start of a new vlog and i think i think we're at 77 maybe um it is tuesday august 25th it is about seven o'clock in the evening my husband is out getting dinner at the moment it is a steak and lobster night even though there's no really reason for it, but we have a pretty cheap place here that my husband recently discovered, so yeah. I'm giving him a break from the HelloFresh small portion sizes that are healthy. Anyway, um, welcome to my channel. If you're new and you have not seen my videos yet, like I said, this is a vlog series. I stitch a lot of large projects, and you will see some little ones scattered here and there, but I'm also doing the Magical Stitches group. So if you hear me talk about homework, um, things like that, it's for that group. I thought about joining another, I have joined Full Coverage Fanatics, but I haven't actually started that one yet. Um, still getting my feet wet in there, but I hope you guys like what you see and don't forget to subscribe and hello to all my new subscribers that I know I've gotten a few and a big welcome back to all of my current subscribers. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. I am planning for those of you that have been here for a while though on doing another stitch with me soon. I just have to think about which story I want to do and which project fits. But I do have something special to show you guys. I did just post it on my Instagram, so if you're following me on there, you've already seen it, but I did not show the full piece yet. Save that for you guys. Um, so one of the prompts for homework was to stitch on something that we haven't stitched in the longest. And I had a project picked out, but then I realized that I had pretty much forgotten about this one. It was hiding in another project bag and there was there were two in there that I could have picked that I haven't stitched on at all this year. I don't know which one was older, but they were old enough that it's been at least six months, so I didn't think it was that big of a deal to look back at all my other videos and see which one was the oldest. And so, Julie is stitching at the cabin if you're watching. I don't know if you are or not, but this will make you really excited. I remembered I had a Chatelaine on the go and it's been a hot minute. I literally have everything for it. I don't usually kit up my projects, but I kitted up this project. I've got a Clay by Kim needle liner on there from forever ago. The part that I added, it was only 200 stitches and it happened to be the exact amount in this dark blue, um, outline. So, of course it's not going to capture the sparkle, but all of that dark blue is sparkly, that lighter blue on the inside, or that like medium blue color that's right there on the inside is sparkly, and the, the light blue is sparkly too, so. It's called Sparkling Peacock Chatelaine, or Sparkling Peacock Mandala for a reason. So yeah, all that sparkles. This green on the outside is a water lilies, so it is variegated. And then the, let's see where am I pointing to? Those gold pieces right there on the inside, way inside, are metallic, but these blues are all silk lame, so it is sparkly, but it's a little bit harder to capture. So I'm trying to get in all the cross stitches and quarter stitches done first, and then, oops, then I will go back in and do the specialties. But the beads, I think I'm going to save for last. I haven't quite decided yet. But yeah, that was 200, so 
I might leave it on the frame just because it's gorgeous to look at, even though there's not much done on it. Um, cause my next project I'm going to choose is a stitch in hand project. So that one is, my original thought was there's five prompts this week. Usually there's only like one or two, but my original thought was that I was going to stitch like five different projects, but I remembered that I really need to work on my year of celebrations because it's already August, almost September. And I've only finished up to October, so I need to get those done. And that will fit three other prompts, I think. I think I can fit it into the fourth one, but I'm not doing the bonus stitches this week because I have nothing with a duck in it, but it's not a big deal. So my plan is to work as much as I can on Year of Celebrations, try to get that done because I know I don't get any time really in November and December although actually I would say after October or during October on um but of course with COVID this year who knows you know we're not doing all of the stuff that we usually would do like theme parks and stuff because it's closed so we might have more time this year or I might have more time to stitch but we shall see my mom is coming for Halloween so that'll be exciting not that we're really doing much, but since it's on a Saturday and she hasn't been out here in a while, we figured she could come out and save quite a bit of money. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys for today. I'm going to say so one more time because I haven't said it enough this video. <laughs> I will see you guys all tomorrow with hopefully some November stitching. I will see you all then. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Wednesday the 26th. It's about six o'clock at night and I got a little bit of progress yesterday. I did actually stitch the Chatelaine yesterday, so I had that as well, but since I showed it to you already, I worked on the Year of Celebrations by Hands On Design and I started November. So I didn't get a bunch done, like I said. I only finished two colors, which was about 250 stitches. So I'm going to start on the gold, probably, and then the white, and we'll see where I get to. But I have the border, which these are little acorns. The leaves are done. There's a big pumpkin that goes right here. And then the pilgrim. So it's cute. We'll see, like I said, how much I get done. I'm using this for, I believe, two other homeworks. Yeah, because one of them I can't do, I have to do. I'm going to work on my, I always forget the name of it, my like seasonal piece that I was working on last week, um, which was winter. I cannot think of who the designer is. Oh well, I'll tell you tomorrow when I show it to you to stitch it. Um, got a new puzzle since it was sitting here. thought I'd show you. It's pretty cute. They're fun. It's going to be fun to stitch too. But puzzles go together a little bit faster. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Friday the 28th. It's about five o'clock and I only have a little bit of progress to show you because I spent all of last night and most of today working on my puzzle that I bought. But that's done now, so I get to stitch again. So the only thing that I finished was the yellow. And then I'm going to be going in today with the white. And we'll see how much I am able to get done. That's literally all I worked on, so 
I can show you my puzzle. Super exciting and glary. <laughs> but it's pretty. It was enjoyable to put together. And I'll leave it up for probably a day or two before I pack it all up. But for right now, I am off to stitch. And I will see you all tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Saturday the 29th. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I decided not to do my meeting today. I had forgotten about it for the first like two hours and then we ate lunch and now it's already two, so. Um, but I did make some good progress last night. I finished the weekly homework except for the flower pot prompt, which I'm gonna work on right now. But then I was kind of looking through, cause I still had some more stitches to do on November. And so I had to look through and see if there were any other group events or anything that I could put those stitches into. Cause I only had like 400 left maybe. And I remember that I never did the movie homework. So I watched Rapunzel and was able to finish up my November block. I'm always really pleased with how these end up turning out because the cover photo is really washed out, I guess you could say, on the cover photo. <laughs> I'm gonna say on the official cover photo. But yeah, the colors are much more vibrant in person. So now all I have left is December. And this one actually didn't have that much stitching in it. It was only, usually they average about 1100 or so stitches. This one only had like 950 or something like that. So all I have left is December and hopefully I can get to that soon because it would be nice to have a finish. But for now I'm going to go work on the winter piece <laughs> to put in the flower pots. I'm actually going to be working on the house because the flower pots are already in and I should be able to finish up that color, I think, which is the, is it Weeks Dye Works Cocoa, I think. Um, and that piece is well on its way to being finished. Still has work to do, but I think the cocoa is the biggest color. So hopefully I will be able to finish that color up and we'll see where I get to. So I will show you that piece probably tomorrow because I should finish it today. And then my plan for the rest of the day, I think we're gonna watch Bill and Ted. It came out yesterday. And I wanna watch the first ones I think to get caught up though. So I'm gonna ask my husband if he wants to join me. But I will be working on um, George to try to finish up. Those 5,000 that's taking me forever. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish up those 200. And then we'll see how far I can get on George. And I will show you both of those tomorrow and I will check in then. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Sunday the 30th. It's almost 11 o'clock at night and I didn't get a ton of progress yesterday, but I did get quite a bit today. So I finished my stitching on the Country Cottage Needleworks winter seasonal celebrations, I think it's what it's called. So I finished all of the cocoa and then I started in on, is it Weeks Dye Works? Um, grape leaf, grapevine, something like that. And so once I get all of those green leaves in, that will be the entire bottom section done. And there's not too, too much on the top, but more of the green goes up on those trees right there. 
don't know if you can hear that or not, but that's coming through my husband's headphones. Anyway, I also, I'm going to turn you around and show you George. Because I got about 700 stitches in on him over the weekend. Which means I have 700 left to finish that set. And then I can use him, I think, on the monthly homework. And possibly the weekly as well. So I'm going to try to finish him up within the next two days but I finished all of this brown color or brown it's late this gray color which is all the way up there and then like I said this is basically two whole pages so that's why I don't have a page finish yet but I have two more colors no three more colors to go in and it's Mostly this is all one color right here, and then there's like two colors there. So I'm going to start with this one, which is another gray, and I'm not sure what these ones are, but I think it's a gray and a blue, but it's coming along. I'm definitely happy to be done with that gray because... That was a little insane. But that's all I have for you, and I will see you all tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It is Tuesday, August 1st, September 1st. It's 11.30 at night, so I'm a bit tired. And I finally put in the 500 stitches, 5,000 stitches on George. So, let me see. Can you see that? I think, yeah. So I put in two full pages and I'm working on the third. I finished like three colors, but two of them are super tiny, like 10 stitches each maybe. to get much closer. So I'm working on page 13 at the moment, but it was exciting. I got both page finishes today since I was doing them together. And I found out my sister-in-law is coming to stay with us on Thursday, so we have quite a bit of house cleaning to do. So I have a doctor's appointment early in the morning um luckily a pretty light work day so tomorrow's gonna be spent mostly cleaning and I have a little bit of work in the afternoon I have a meeting I have to go to so it's going to be probably not much stitching although I can stitch during the meeting because I don't have to be present for it so well I don't have to be on camera for it so I'll probably stitch during the meeting. I have the weekly homeworks, which are going to be done on year of celebrations and I haven't quite decided on the other one. It's either, it's going to be a big project. It's either going to be, I think it's going to be, um, once upon a fairy tale. But I'm going to have to double up stitches for that. So might be on, ooh, I need to look actually. Maybe I'll pull out Hocus Pocus for it. It's been a while since I've touched that. I need to see what the other prompt is because I know I can use it for something that a YouTuber or a floss tuber inspired me to buy. And then Year of Celebrations will be used for a bucket and something with a starfish. It's technically a star, but if you have a starfish, then you get extra points. So they have both of those in the June block. So I'm gonna have to double check what that other prompt is for to see if Hocus Pocus will work for it. Cause I, I don't quite remember, but really any of my big pieces, I've been inspired by other 
big piece stitchers. I thought about museum shelf, but I had actually started that before I saw. I know somebody else is working on it, but I can't remember who it was. Um, but before I saw Kim Hollenbeck's version of it. So anyway, it'll probably be Once Upon a Bookshelf, but possibly, or Once Upon a Fairy Tale Bookshelf, or possibly Hocus Pocus. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. I will see you tomorrow and I'll probably be working on year of celebrations during the meeting because it's small, it's easy to pay attention to and it needs to get done. So I will come back and see you then. Hey everybody, welcome back. It is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday the 3rd. Um, it's like 9.30 at night and I finally put in my 300 stitches on my first homework project, which is something that another floss tuber inspired you to stitch. I have 700 more, which should go pretty quick. This was probably the one that was going to take the longest. Um, I'm calling it quits for the night because I have to get up super early tomorrow for a doctor's appointment, but this took me two days to get through, I think. Yeah. I basically spent all day cleaning yesterday for my sister-in-law to come over, but she isn't staying with us anymore, so. But, whatever. Clean house. So, I'm going to flip you around and show you. So, I pulled out Hocus Pocus. And Caitlin and Stitches started stitching this, and so I had to. But I didn't see her finish because she stopped making floss tubes. Caitlin, if you're watching, get back on it. Um, this is on a 32 count natural ish that I obviously re dyed. Um, I put some oranges and brown or blacks in there. It was originally like just like a natural linen color, so obviously it's sorry for the cursing. My husband in the background. Um, obviously it's a linen. It was just one of like the Charles Craft. Um, I don't know if it was Charles Craft. I think it was mushroom that you get at Joann's or Michael's. Totally blanking on the name of it, but the one that's like not even on both sides and yeah, super thin. So this one is, I like stitching it. It just takes longer because it is thinner. I'm gonna figure out. It's kind of fuzzy. I'm gonna figure that out. Um, so I have to be just more careful when I'm stitching uh, it to make sure that the threads don't slip. Which is not a problem with my even weaves, but I'm already this far in. Which is only like 2%, but over. that's beside the point. <laughs> um, I'm cutting off the black that is over here. So this is all like 939. There's actually, I think there's like. 10 colors or so in these but I finished up this middle part you can see there's I can actually get pretty close so I did all these green I just finished the green part in here as I'm still got a thread on my needle right over there but did this blue and you can see there's like purple and brown and navy and all sorts of colors so I might have even done black not today but this might be black but anyway and filled up the rest of this I stitched with the blue and the green the blue is all in here and then it came up into her hair up here and then came back down and had a few stitches in this bit up here and then I came back in with the green kind of see in there so I'm starting to get some filling in filled in a few stitches in here got a few in there and there's gonna be a few stitches in her eyes and stuff eventually but for now I'm working my way back up into here and 
it comes up here again. So basically my plan is just to keep working over. So I'll take whatever color is next in here and then work on that. And eventually it'll start filling in a lot. So this one I'm happy to say will not be getting any page lines or lines of any sort because of how I'm stitching it. And I like how this one is turning out. But like I said, I just need to concentrate when I'm working on it. And so I have a hundred more stitches that'll be on a big project, which I will start tomorrow. Yes. Which will be on one of my bookshelves. It'll either be museum or fairy tale. So I'm kind of thinking museum because I haven't pulled that out in a while. And then the rest will be on, oh, and it's, it's because you need something with a book in it, so. And then the rest will be on Year of Celebrations, which I'm doing the big project first because we are going to San Francisco on Saturday for a couple of days, see my husband's dad. Um, and Year of Celebrations will be easy to stitch in the car because it has larger holes and it's over two. So that'll be my plan. I'm going to have to work while I'm up there, but that's not an issue. I'll take another project with me. Um, I'm going to double check what my monthly tasks are for the new monthly homework that just came out and depending on what that is I'll probably use that as my second project I take just in case I get time I don't think I will but you never know we'll see all right that's enough chatting from me thank you guys for hanging out I will see you all probably tomorrow hey guys welcome back it is Friday the 4th, piece of hair, um, it's 8.40 and I got progress, not a lot of progress, I got a whole hundred stitches in today, exciting, but it was in two colors, so I decided to pull out museum shelf, let's see, her old pearl earring is still just chilling over here, missing a face and body. So I did pretty much that light brown. Is that the only? I basically put in two light browns. <laughs> So you can see the one still dangling here. Um, I got right like 103 stitches and stopped. But a lot of it's scattered down here. So I don't even know if you can tell the difference. I mean, you can't because I didn't show it to you before. But in the pictures for homework, I don't know if you can tell the difference. But I did it. So I feel like they probably don't look super, super close anyway. But I have also, I'm super tired guys, we had our appointment at 7 o'clock this morning which means we had to get up at like 5.30 and my cats woke me up at 2 o'clock, 3.30, 5.30. So needless to say, I'm going to sleep well tonight. And then I packed my zombie pinup girl bag with my, well, one of my projects. I totally realize you can see the pattern, but. Put in December. You can see that. Ah, 
but it's number. And so you saw it, right? Here's the actual colors. So like literally all these bright colors, I'm trying to get them not to dump. And doesn't look nearly that bright. So this one's always fun to pull colors with. Then I pulled a bunch of colors for my big project, which is on the frame that I have in my don't forget to take this crap pile, um, which is Disneyland map. So, and then I also stuck my, this is already in it, in this bag, and I just kept it in there. My country cottage needleworks winter so because that already had all the flosses and everything in it and I figured maybe if I'm not feeling Disneyland map and one of the monthly homeworks is just to stitch on whatever you want it's like 1250 stitches on anything so I have a little bit of variety and that one will be easy to stitch in the car as well so all my projects I'm taking are big holes over to shouldn't make me too sick to stitch it but I'm sure I'm gonna have issues so we'll see anyway that is and I didn't pull all the colors I just kind of looked at the pattern and pulled like 10 12 colors for Disneyland map that should be enough to get me through but like I said, I always have the other ones back up. So that's all I have for you guys. We are planning on leaving tomorrow. Not too, too early because I want to sleep. It's about a six hour drive. We had to make sure there's a lot of fires up there. So we had to make sure to plan a route that didn't go through them. Um, then I need to make a list of things to pack for tomorrow and we got some interesting fertility news today. We had our IUI and if this doesn't work, we're moving on to IVF, which is probably going to be about 20 grand. So hope I don't have to do that, but I'm thinking about bringing you guys on that journey with me if I have to. It might be like this where I just kind of pop in every now and then and say where we're at. This is our third IUI we did. And it doesn't sound like the doctor has too much hope, but I have hope. So that's all that matters, right? Anyway, so that's something that will be a big discussion. And we're in the middle of refinancing our house right now. So lots of fun life stuff on my end. Anyway, um, I'm going to say um some more because you guys haven't heard it quite enough yet. I've been watching YouTube videos on IVF just in case I always like to be prepared. It's a lot of shots. It's like four shots a day. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired because of the appointment and work and stuff. So I do have to work a little bit on my trip. Monday is a holiday in the U.S., but I have to work Tuesday. And we're planning on coming back Tuesday, so I don't know how much I will be able to do in the car because I may be working. I only technically have like a half hour meeting that's like right in the middle of the day of course but my husband has some work too so we might be coming back in the dark sort of dark so I don't know how much stitching I'm gonna get done in the car. I can't stitch super fast in the car anyway because like I said I get sick so I'm gonna probably bring my wristbands so I'm not doing any or taking any drugs that might hurt our IUI chances. Um, I'm sure they're fine, but 
just to be on the safe side. That is all I have for you guys. I do have to make my list of medications and things that I have to take with me and all my work stuff that I need to take. So I have a pretty extensive list I have to make. And then I'm going to pack all of my clothes and stuff tonight. Of course, cross stitch had to come first, right? Yeah, you guys understand. <laughs> I have to get all my electronics together and long night ahead and it's already like almost nine. So I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm sure you're loving hearing me ramble, but I will see you all probably in a few days. I might try to film a little bit I don't think I'm going to end up filming while we're there, but maybe on the car ride. So otherwise I will come back and do another clip before I end the series, this series. So I will see you all then. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sunday the 6th. It is almost one o'clock in the afternoon and I have the house to myself for a little while. So I thought I'd make a video. Um, so I didn't get a ton of progress yesterday, but I did finally pull it out to stitch on it today. We were doing some Halloween shopping this morning, which totally fine by me. Um, but the, sorry, it's like 90 degrees here and super hot and there's no AC. So, um, yeah, we have the party tomorrow. I thought it was today, but it's tomorrow. And my husband and sister-in-law are out getting a cake. So I just started stitching it again. So I'm gonna show you my progress. So I got the green done in the car yesterday and then the yellow jingle bells over there. So I'm starting the yellow in this middle bit and I'm at about 190 stitches, I think. So I'm just trying to get in this 300 and then hopefully I can get in the other 300 I need before 10 o'clock tonight, my time. But I think we don't have a whole lot of stuff to do today. So I'm hoping now that I'm not in the car and I'm nice and still, I can get more progress put in and try to get that other 300. So for right now, I'm focusing on getting in this, the rest of this first 300 and we'll see if I can finish it out. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I will see you all later. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday the 9th. It's like 7 30 at night and I'm finally getting to stitch um, I did well here I'll just turn around and show you I did all of this on my trip I finished the homework I was doing and then realized that this fit into the new homework which is very interesting. So the way the new Magical Stitches homework works is that we're on the Disney cruise ship and we have to visit different decks and on each deck there are like obviously certain things and so we have to find a project that fits but then we also have to stitch a number of stitches based on that deck. So like deck 14, we can do 14 stitches, 140 stitches. Deck one, we can do one stitch, 10 stitches, 11 stitches, as long as the first number starts with that deck number. Um, so I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do um, because I didn't have it on my trip yet. And so I only had this project, my house, and my Disneyland map. And this one was easiest to work on because it was kind of in the middle of everything. So I used this for deck 10, which was 100 stitches. And that was, 
what did I use this one for? I think deck 10 had the, what did it have? The pool, I think. And so, oh no, I used it for the navigation bridge. So the navigation bridge, because the pilgrims had to navigate to get to the new world. Then I'm using it for the Quiet Cove pool, which is the adult pool, because I'd be reading while relaxing by the pool. And I think I'm using this for, I think I might use this for ports, which would be 140 stitches, because I'd be visiting the beach and stuff while I was at port. So I think that's all of them. Depending on how close I am, I might use it for deck three. I think it's three because that's where they have the big tree that they put out for Halloween so if I'm like super close to finishing that one's only since deck three I think I did 35 stitches so I'll put those in there as well in there as well <laughs> um yes yeah, so this is all I've done so far the white finishes up here and comes back around I only did these three things yes, and then this part of the white so far for this current task. So I still have quite a bit to do. Maze in the corner. But my biggest bit is going to be on a surprise project that you guys will see later on. So I'm going to start stitching and I will see you all later. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Thursday, the 10th. It's 7.30 again. Hey, being consistent. Um, and I finished December, so that's exciting, which means the hands-on design year of celebrations is finished. Trying to get it so you can actually see it. It's been super, super orange here because we're getting a lot of smoke. Luckily, the fires are not near us currently, knock on wood. Um, but the way the wind's blowing, we got a lot of smoke from, I think, the second nearest fire. Um, so I finished the, I think I had 210 stitches left that were for one of the new pop-up events, or not pop-up, but, um, group events in Magical Stitches. We needed 175 and we had like three new events, so I'm pretty far behind on the groups. But I finished three, two or three of the weekly homework. Um, so the rest of them are going to, well, at least the biggest chunk of them are going to go on something you guys haven't seen in a while. which is Cinderella. So you can see I've got part of a head. <laughs> I think we'll see some skin this time, but she's gonna have over 500 stitches put into her um, for the fifth floor, which is the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique. Or fifth. What do they call those? Totally blanking. Um, I think I can use her for the other ones as well, but the 500 definitely is the biggest. So I think I'm about 300 in and it'll be a thousand stitches total, um, which is what the weekly homeworks always are. But for now, since it's late enough, I'm going to go cook dinner and clean off my desk because it's kind of a mess right now. I also have to make our Halloween masks and my sister-in-law is coming over this weekend on her way back down from San Francisco. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of Halloween crafting. So I bought some cool stuff, which I will show you, I'm not gonna say next time, but I'll show you a little bit later. So, I'm going to, like I said, go cook dinner, then get 
Cinderella all set up, see how many homework prompts I can use her for. Um, her face does have, I'm pretty sure her face has quite a few quarter stitches in her, so it's going to be a little slow going because it's on 36 count, but we'll kind of see how things go. So anyway, super exciting finish today. I don't know if you can tell. Those are supposed to be jingle bells, but like those? Do those look like jingle bells? I think it's the top that's throwing me off, but whatever. It's cute. And if they don't look like jingle bells, they look like ornaments. So either way. So thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Saturday the 12th. It's 2.45 and I did some finishing this morning. So I got my last two finishes on November and December on the hands-on design year of celebrations. I know this one's a little off center, but I don't care. <laughs> I cared, but at that point it was already too late. I didn't want to undo it and redo the whole thing, but super cute. I have them all in this basket. So that way I can just grab and go. I need to figure out where I want to put the basket, but I'm going to see if I can fit it in the bin with you, all my other finishes. Um, not much to report. I put in like 50 stitches on Cinderella. So you can see that darker yellow coming in. Super exciting, but I'm hoping I can finish up the weekly homework. My sister-in-law should be here in like half an hour. So I'm going to get as much done as I can. We have Halloween decorations that we want to put up. Um, to test them out to see if we need to fix them. It's really only like one or two things, but if you watch my vlogs before, you know we get really, really bad winds in October and it they basically like decimated one of our big pieces. So we need to figure out if where we want to put it, if it'll actually fit there because we're changing positions this year to hopefully get it out of the way of the wind and then possibly beefing up our tombstones that are styrofoam that blow away so we're gonna look at that and then we have to make a couple of runs probably to home depot lowe's to get stuff to fix up the house for our refinancing so that's fun so i don't know how much stitching time i'm gonna have in the near future i hope i'm able to keep up with the weekly tasks at least but we'll see I don't know what it was about this week that just ate all my time up, but I think I ended up doing a little bit more reading, not realizing it was already the end of the week. Couldn't tell you. But anyway, um, I'm going to try to stitch and we'll see where I get to. I think I still have about 700 stitches left or like 650 or something. No idea if I'm going to get them done, but I'll come back to you guys later and let you know. We'll see you then. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Monday the 14th. It's about 6.15 in the evening. It's exactly 6.15 in the evening. And I've finished the weekly homework and got more progress done than I thought. Like I did the exact number of stitches needed, but I didn't think it would finish all of it it did. So, well, first today, but the last thing I did was put in an entire 10 stitches on Disneyland map. So yeah, see that gray right there in the middle? Yep, put in those 10 stitches. Exciting, I know. But the actual exciting part is that I finished up all of Cinderella's hair. Well, except for the back stitching. 
and start it on her skin. So this is a blend, but Oh, this is the next part that goes down. But I'm just happy I was able to finish the homework because it was looking a little iffy for a while. But she's looking really good. So basically, I'm going to do all of her face because the back stitching that is throughout her hair also comes down her face, the same color. So I'm just going to continue doing that as much as I can. So my face is itchy. Um, she's got these two, like, I'm not actually sure what they are. They're, like, disc things that are on the side of her head. I think that, like, hold the the headband in place. It's not actual earphones, because you can actually see her ear down here. But So once I finish probably this color, I'll go in and start putting those in. Or I might work on her face more. We'll see. But one of those, I could, I thought about starting these, but one of them is a chronic, and I don't want to start that. And then up here in her head, she has a chronic headpiece thing. So, yeah. Excited about that. I am going to start a new vlog clip for next week's homework which will include a lot of George Washington. It's been a while since I've been able to stitch on him and one of my bookshelves, but I'm not sure which one yet. So anyway, I'm going to do a clip on that and I will see you all in my next vlog series. Thank you all for liking and subscribing. If you are new here and you do like my content, Feel free to subscribe. I post every week or two, usually, um, depending, probably not until the end of the year. I won't be doing too, too much, but, or I should say too much of the like extra videos, but I always post a Halloween house tour and a um, end of the year whip parade. Um, in addition to my weekly videos. So I don't know if I'm going to have too, too many more, or I shouldn't say weekly, but bi-weekly videos, because that's usually what it ends up being. So I don't know if I'm going to have too many of the extraneous clips, but at least until January. It's just everything from now until December is nuts. And I don't know if COVID is going to change that this year. I don't think it's going to. I still think it's going to be pretty busy, but I'm just going to count on it being busy and not getting a lot of time. But I just remembered I got my coloring cotton. So I always open the package, but I never actually look inside until I'm with you guys. So I can't believe I almost forgot. I've been waiting for this one for a while. So I get the five color. Sorry, I don't know why my face is so itchy getting really bad smoke um down here so no fires near us but the smoke inhalation is bad um and I think it's drying out my skin so I get the five color all color directly from color and cotton's website this time ooh, ooh that blue green is gorgeous So we have two purples. So the first one we have is celery, which is a, actually I wonder if it show a little bit better on here. Celery, which is pretty much a perfect celery color, like a very, very light green, almost yellow. Lilac, which is a pretty light purple, but actually that shows up pretty true. And maybe it's a little darker on camera, but it's got those like darker streaks running through it. Purple geranium, which is a darker 
version, but also a little bit more on the pink side. Same thing, that might be just a little bit darker in person, or on camera. Pumpkin Patch, which is this gorgeous orange. This one is not showing true. It's, it's definitely more of a pumpkin spice color than it's showing. It's more coral. No, it's not coral. I just think it's a little more orange in person, not quite to the brown side, I think, as it's showing. Like, if you look up here, that's a lot more true than the rest of the skein is showing. This one isn't variegated, I don't think. The rest all are, just subtly. And this one is the most variegated. This is Caribbean. It's got all the teals and greens, blues. That's pretty true. So. Anyway, I'm glad I remembered that so I can go put it in my stash. I still have my ones from last month sitting on my desk because I haven't put them away yet. So I was waiting for these ones to come in. Um, anyway, like I said, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. If you do want to see more of my stuff, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I am posting videos. I know sometimes videos get lost in feeds. Um, but you'll be seeing some more big projects coming out now that we don't have a ton of plans travel wise for the month end of october we'll get super busy so i need to look at my travel projects and see where those are at and i will see you guys all next time